rodents flock to areas with poor sanitation, such as this corner of Metro Manila. These pests are known carriers of leptospirosis. The deadly disease is endemic in tropical countries such as the Philippines, where some 24 million people have limited to no access to toilets. Leptospirosis can be transmitted to humans from the urine of infected animals. Flooding like this can increase the risk of transmission as contaminated water could come into contact with an open wound, especially when wading through flood without protective gear like this. The leptospira bacteria causes the disease. It can thrive for a prolonged period of time in waterlogged soil. Nearly 6,000 leptospirosis cases have been recorded in the Philippines as of mid-November this year, the highest in five years. Leptospirosis has killed hundreds of people in the Philippines in recent years, more than 600 in 2023 alone, a five-year peak. That's higher than the death toll in 2018 during an outbreak of the disease in multiple parts of Metro Manila. Early detection of the disease is tricky because its symptoms are similar to regular cold and flu. Grade 12 student Cyrus Lescano was diagnosed with severe leptospirosis over two months ago. He faced complications in his lungs and kidneys. Medical services are considered inadequate in his home province of Laguna, so his family took him to a hospital in Metro Manila. They have been living in this room at the facility. Their bill has ballooned, and now they can't afford to pay it. Kasi kami may edad na kami, isa bata pa, marami pa isang pangarap, gano'n. Doon na naiisip namin mag-asawa na ano, Tsaka katulad ngayon, siyempre, parehas kami nandito sa ospital. Hindi, dahil yung negosyo namin, hindi namin maintindi. Kasi nandito kami, nagbabantay. Base sa akin, parang ang realidad talaga. Ano eh. Pag mahirap ka, talaga mahirap talaga. Two Filipino scientists are hoping to help Cyrus Lescano and other leptospirosis patients. And our majority of those affected by leptospirosis belong to the low and middle income class. So, um, and most of these people are not or do not receive enough um, support in order for them to be taken care of, especially in hospitals. So you want to alleviate them from those problems. And that, I think that's the number one motivation that we have as um, Filipino researchers here. They're developing the first locally produced vaccine that targets the types of leptospira bacteria found in the Philippines. First for animals such as dogs, they're hoping to one day make a shot for people. Microbial immunology expert Dr. Nina Gloriani and microbiologist Dr. Sharon Villanueva have identified the types of leptospira bacteria that exist in the Philippines. They've also mapped the risk factors that contribute to the circulation of the disease. In their initial testing, they proved their vaccine was safe and efficacious in a hamster control group. But the next phase of trials is challenging. Dr. Gloriani says their tests show imported vaccines could not neutralize the types of bacteria found in the Philippines. Leptospirosis is geographic, no? What you have in the U.S. may be different from what we have here. And it has a bearing especially to the development of vaccines. But many people would know that rats are the main vectors or reservoir of leptospira. But not many know that anima, other animals could actually transmit the infection. Like among the domestic animals, dog will be number one. Of course, among livestock, we also have carabaos, cows, uh, goats, even we tested goats. So they are positive for antibodies. Dr. Gloriani says developing localized vaccines could benefit other Southeast Asian nations which may have similar bacteria types to those found in the Philippines. Their lab opened 13 years ago. 
But there's more work to be done for two of the country's leading experts on leptospirosis. The lab is based at the University of the Philippines, Manila, and the school is looking for research and development partners along with co-funders for the next phase of vaccine trials. And so as the scientists work and wait, the bills mount for Cyrus Lescano and his family. Just one example of how the burden of leptospirosis continues to weigh heaviest on underprivileged groups in the Philippines. Buena Bernal, CNA, Metro Manila.